Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from TheChickenPastor.com. And together, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back to Tobacco Advent 2014, Day 18. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back, boy. Now, okay, we've already made no secret of the fact that I've been in California, so this is my first day back. and uh, Back in North Carolina. We, we have some, some splaining to do. Do we? Yeah, we kind of do. We had a few people who've asked over the last couple of days, hey, you guys, uh, why haven't you uh, done your reviews when we've come back the next morning and talk about the tobacco? Why haven't you reviewed it? All right, we have a confession to make. Um, as we were, well, the last 17 episodes that you've seen and the last two or three Mark Woodman's Breakfast Clubs that you've seen, we recorded all of those in one day. And so by the time we were on the tail end of that, trying to get done with all those, we were, we were burnt out. And uh, so we, we, we kind of lost our rhythm there on the tail end. <laughs> yeah, we, we spent about 10 hours together. Um, we shot four hours worth of footage, like on video, to be edited footage uh, in one day. And um, in fact... Go, if you go to our channel, you can see I've condensed all of that footage down into one 30 on second video. It's going to be on our channel and it's going to be on his <laughs> channel. Yep. So, hey, for it, those, it is right now. It and is. for those of you who are here at the Mark Woodman's Breakfast Club channel because of that video over at Aristocob oh, uh, channel, we're, we're glad to have you with us. So, here's how it works uh, back here on the. Uh, the other thing, the other, the other explaining is because we had to film 17 days. Uh, we appreciate those of you that have sent in tobacco since we started. Um, we so appreciate it. And I know that we had to redo some because we, we received some tobacco from a couple of people. Um, and so for those of you that have sent it in, we have integrated you into the tail end and all of the tobacco that has been sent that we haven't had an opportunity to enjoy during Tobacco Advent is going to be our Mark Women's Breakfast Club tobacco. For months of, to come. Yeah, 2015. So thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. good good to know that we have something to smoke going into the new year. Yeah. Huh? All that's right, so anyway, stuff. for those of you who don't know, back behind me is the Tobacco Advent tree. And it is covered with what we like to call cornaments for each day. So... Reach back here and grab cornament for day 18 if I can get it untangled. Ah. Can you? <laughs> I think I'm out of practice here. So these these are, are just like the uh, advent calendars you had as a kid, where you got to um, you had the box and you take it out every day leading up to Christmas and it had some candy in it, usually chocolate. Or, um, as someone pointed out, as our friend Harlow pointed out, uh, like that the calendar with the little mouse, the fabric mouse that you would move leading up to Christmas. That's right. Yeah. Remember what we did last year? No. Last year we put these out in front of the microphone. So they were on there for the whole episode. We're just, just now remembering that. Okay. Um, that's not going to work. Isn't it? Now, now all they're hearing is I know. that. I know. All right, so uh, we did get a couple samples um, here that we didn't get a chance to research. Up until now, we had the time to do a little bit of research on it to tell you more about it. So uh, this is a tobacco that is called Poor Phil's Special. It's from Ye Old Tobacco Shop and... Is it shop or shop A? Uh, no, it's shop. It's not, it has oh, no pretentious ooh. E. And uh, this is from Savannah. Savannah's tobacconist since 1973. So nice. Poor Phil's Special. And this came to us from, you wrote that on there. Uh, is that Chonky B1? Chonky? Mm -hmm. Chonky B1. Again, we'll put a description. Michael. We'll put this in the description. Michael Bianchi. Oh, you sure that Michael wanted his name pronounced here on YouTube? It's on YouTube. <laughs> His name. He's on, on YouTube. He's, huh? he, he has Google Plus, so his name is on there, yeah, right? Don't you have course. to? Uh, don't you have to put that on there? Don't you love Google Plus? Why are all these websites from Facebook to Google Plus to? Um, you know, I used to really enjoy using Foursquare whenever I traveled and check in places. Mm. You know, it was a neat little historic document. I could see all the restaurants and places that I visited as I traveled, and then. They had to introduce a new version. You know, now you have to have a second app mm -hmm. called Swarm to do your checking in, 
And, uh, you know, YouTube or uh, Facebook now has their second app for messaging. I, which I refuse to download. I do, too. I, I refuse. Too. Poor Phil's special. If you love the taste of cherry but demand a cool smoke, then this one's for you. Cherry. And a cool smoke. All right, I'm okay with the cool smoke. And don't don't knock it till you tried it. I know. So, how's California? <laughs> it was nice. Um, Smell the cherry. I was there when Los Angeles had its record downfall, a rain downfall for a 24-hour period. More rain wow. in a 24-hour period than ever in recorded history. Get this. It was an it was one and three quarters inch. Wow. In 24 hours. Torrential, you might say. <laughs> it was. Okay, now just so you know, we get that all the time yeah. here. Um, and so, but but not unlike how here in North Carolina, if we get some, some snow or freezing rain, we don't have the equipment and the infrastructure to take right. care of it. Their gutters were never intended mm. to handle that much water. Their lawns and, and you know how they get landslides yeah. or uh, uh, mudslides out there from having that much water coming down in the mountains. It was a lot. Of, uh, I was working with a bunch of folks that had trouble getting to work because there was a lot of standing water in the lake or in the uh, the streets. They made the streets into lakes. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, lake streets. Yeah, as you do. All right, hold on. What happened here? I need to use the lighter. I have thwarted myself. I think I clogged up my pipe Again? last time. No, I'm pretty confident it it started clogged. This is not a fresh clog. What? In the Where'd way? those pipe cleaners go? I got them over here. Yeah, look at that. You can't even see groundage on that sucker. It just <laughs> smooth. Yeah. What did you do? I don't know. I clogged it. You take it to the air compressor. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah, it is in there. All right, so our question to ponder today, and uh, we're running a little late, a little long on this one because we're having to get back into the swing of things. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. We got, we got some redundancy here. Ah, here we go. Do you have any go-to Christmas gifts? Do you have any Christmas gifts that you give every single year, you know, either for... Uh, on purpose, or <laughs> it just happens to be that case that, that that's you what, buy it every time. That's what uh, CVS happens to have on Christmas Eve right. at closing time. That's right. I always always give some uh, bubblelicious. It is the ultimate bubble. Yeah, and uh, usually Diet Coke. <laughs> I'm a big spender. <laughs> what in the world? I don't know, but I'm almost done. <laughs> oh, there we go. You know what? No. Nope. This cherry's not bothering me one bit. That's good. That is... That's good. As hoped for, right? Mm-hmm. Never the case. All right, so any go-to Christmas gifts? Nice. Um, yeah, of course. Um... I know one that my father-in-law every Christmas used to give to my wife, his other daughter, probably your Uncle Wesley, for sure, to his wife, my mother-in-law. He used to always give them those little lifesaver books. And when he passed away, I thought, this isn't a tradition I should keep up. This is a tradition that my brother-in-law should keep up. And so, for years and years, I would buy those for him, since he was like 13 when his dad died, to make sure that he got those for his mom and his two sisters. And then, as the years went by, and, and he kind of let that go, I started buying them for boy to give to the, the women in our family. I don't know, do you continue to do that? I have, the last few years, yeah. But, I mean, I wasn't... It's one of those traditions that you do... Kind of because it's tradition. You do it for other people because I was never alive when my grandfather was alive. And I was never a part of that living tradition. Yeah. Um, and so it's something that I do for them 
but not for me. You know? Right. Well, that's what gifts are all about, right? Yeah. Kind of, sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's, to a degree, though, it's kind of like, like going to, going to church with your mother on Mother's Day. You know, maybe not, maybe not something that you would. Like going to her church. That's right. That's right. Maybe not something you would do all the time, but you do it because it's meaningful. But, you know, the experience to you means something totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't mean that in a bad way. Sure. Now, now, okay. So I named something for you, actually. Can you name something for me? Do do I have any go-to Christmas gifts? (laughs) Turning the table here. Um... Well, he's thinking about this, just so you know. The official cornament and official pipe of Tobacco Advent is the uh, Naked Morgan Nose Warmer, or as I like to call it, the 320. Uh, I love smoking this pipe. It's a nice little pipe. I don't know that you do. Can you think of any that you do? I'm going to sign this one. Also the tradition. Um, I mean, I kind of do have that, the tradition of hitting CVS <laughs> late, but that has more to do with the fact that, um, there are some Christmas candies and Christmas things that are just ridiculously expensive. Right. Um, I love, I don't know if you guys have tried this, um, Tootsie Pops has a um, candy cane flavor Tootsie Pop. Really? So it's got the chocolate core, mm-hmm. but then the the, um, the rest of it is candy cane. I don't think peppermint. I've ever tried that. Why it's, haven't I ever tried that? Well, because what I do is I buy, buy them and I have, order them. I have, a, I have a huge candy jar at work, and I fill, <laughs> right. I fill the candy jar, and I really like that flavor. But um, that's one of those ones because it's it's right before Christmas. they got to get the, get all their money that they can. Right. And it's expensive, but right after Christmas, I go in and I clean mm. them out of those. Um, there's a couple other things that I'll get, but that's not exactly buying a gift, a go-to gift. No, that's hoarding. That's what that <laughs> is. That's what that is. Yeah, I can't really think of anything. Um, I mean, what what we tend to do if we'll find something cool throughout the year is that becomes the thing, and we'll just get it for a bunch of people. So. You know, I I wouldn't be surprised if <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if people within somebody's circle of influence ended up with pocket monkeys, um, or you know the the jungly Z knife. Yeah, I mean, or, you're right. We find something that we really like, and and then becomes, share that. Yeah, yeah. And so I think we have a tradition of doing that. That ends up happening quite a bit. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm gonna get this for mm. for everybody else. Um, yeah. I don't know that I that I explained it to Jay, but I had D-I-G-H-S-X-J as I was his secret Santa, and I sent him a pair of screwdrivers that I bought myself this last year, and you got one too, mm-hmm. which is really unique. You turn it forward, and it goes forward. You turn it in reverse, it goes forward. All right? It's got a gearbox inside of it, so it kind of doubles your effort on it. And it's got a switch that you can switch forward and reverse on it. And why did I give it to Jay? Well, because we liked it so much. And I know that, that Jay has made no secret of the fact that he's got uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I think it mostly affects his his legs. Mm. But, you know, uh, anytime you can make work less taxing, I think that's great. And because we liked ours so much, I thought, I'm going to get that for Jay. Yeah, that's awesome. So... Anyway, now to, I, but that's that's to reinforce what you said. Yeah, I, I don't really have a go-to that I get every year, but yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, we ran long. Let's Wait wrap on. this up, guys. We don't remember what we smoked yesterday. <laughs> it probably was good. Mm. Sorry for not reviewing it yesterday. What what we will do, as Boy said, is we'll go back and we'll make that and the one prior to that a part of our um, normal Markwood Men's Breakfast Club episode upcoming at some point and that way we can smoke it and give an opinion of it speaking of markman's breakfast club check out markman's breakfast club episode today 
um, it will have posted this morning as well. So if you're here from that, welcome. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. We talk about some cool stuff, I think. All right. See you tomorrow morning. Bye.